Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Sunshine on My Shoulders. Beautiful song. One of my favorites. Okay, uh, what do you need? You need capo third fret. Okay, uh, the G chord that he plays in this song, really all you need is the sixth string third fret with your third finger, and then your first string third fret with your pinky. That will get you that, the, the, way, that, the way that he probably plays the chord. Um, it allows you to get a C chord right after that and leave the pinky down. So the C chord is the fifth string third fret, fourth string second fret, and then the second string first fret, and the pinky stays down on the first string third fret. Okay? So he goes like this. Okay? And so that's that's the that's the progression that runs through most of the song, okay? And uh, what I do on the C chord <clears throat> is I'm hammering the fourth string. See that? So, all right. So we're gonna have to talk about our picking pattern over here. So what I figured out on the G chord is my thumb is gonna hit the sixth string, and my index finger is gonna hit the fourth string at the same time. Okay. Then my middle finger is gonna hit the third string, just like that. Then I'm gonna move my hand down a little bit. My ring finger is going to now play the first string. My middle finger will now play the second. So that way I don't alternate. I, I mean, I am alternating fingers. I'm not doing the same finger uh, one after another, you know? So, so it's a bit tricky. Okay? Then when I go to the C chord, I do exactly the same thing, except my thumb is going to hit the fifth string. My index is, now, is still on the fourth string, and I do the hammer like that. Now, some of you are going to... It's, you're not going to be able to get a good sound because your third finger is not uh, giving you clearance. So that's going to be your first problem. So I play uh, on the other side of the string I'm at such an arc that my fourth string has clearance underneath. And if I can get these fat fingers to do it, you, t you can too, right? And then you hit the... So you hit the, the fifth string with your thumb, your index finger on the fourth string, then your middle on the third, then you move down, first string with the ring finger, second string with the middle finger. Okay? Talk about this hand, so. Okay, so. Okay. And that's it. So that's what he does for the intro, and he does it like, I don't know, maybe four times or something like that. It doesn't really matter. You're going to be able to catch on. So when the words come in, he continues to do that. And he does that like six times. And then the next thing that comes in, you're going to hear, is an A minor 7. Just like that. And he does it twice. So what he's doing is he's hitting the fifth string with his thumb. He's using his index finger for the third. And he's playing his middle and his ring on the, the second and the first string at the same time. So it's like... And then he goes back to the third with his index. So just like that, twice. Okay? Uh, now the next thing you're going to need is a D slash F sharp. And the way I'm going to play that, I'm going to use my middle finger on the 6th string, 2nd uh, fret. My ring finger's on the 3rd string, 2nd fret. My pinky's on the 2nd string, 3rd uh, fret. Just like that. There's a reason why I'm doing this uh, awkward fingering. So, and my right hand finger is going to be 6, 3, 2, 3. So I'm going to use my thumb, my index, my middle, and then my index. Then you put your first finger down on the second string first fret, and you get rid of, rid of your pinky. That's a D7 slash F sharp. So that's really all he does in that transition. So it's like... So it's the same right hand fingering both times. So that's the part where he, you know, makes me cry. Hi, Heidi. All right, and then he goes back to the... Okay, and he does that like eight times in a row. Then the next section you need, there really isn't that many sections. You'll be able to hear them, um, uh, pick them out. So now you got a G chord. I'm going to do the same G chord, and I'm going to go six. I'm going to use the same fingering I did on the A minor seven. Six, three, two, and one, and then my third my third string, so, and 
an A minor 7, and then a B minor 7 to a, oh sorry, B minor, and then to a C chord, okay? So let's go over your chords. Your G chord is the 6th string 3rd fret, the 1st string 3rd fret, and then the A minor 7 you already know, that's the 4th string 2nd fret and the 2nd string 1st fret, and then the B minor, you bar the 2nd fret, your middle finger goes on the 2nd string 3rd fret, your 4th and 3rd fingers go on the 4 and 3 strings, just like that. And then the C chord, same fingering, 5th uh, string 3rd fret, 4th string 2nd, 2nd string 1st. And you use the same right hand fingering for all four of those chords. That's the part where he's like, if I had a day. And he does that three times in a row. And then he, he ends that little, well, after the three times he goes the A minor 7 again, and then the D slash F sharp to the D7 slash F sharp. And then he repeats it. The G to the A minor 7 to the B minor to the C. And this time he does it four times in a row. Okay? Uh, and then you're just back to the... Now, those are all the bits and pieces you need to, to, to be able to play the song. Uh, he does that same pattern twice in a row. Near the end of the song, he, he changes it slightly where he does twice, and then he'll go to the A minor 7, to the B minor 7, to the C. So it's just a little variation. to the C, and then he, he'll end it on a G chord. So, really not that big a deal. Uh, I'm sure you can figure out exactly where those chords go. Um, so I don't have to say you do it six times here, two A's, and then, uh, that'd just be too much. But um, that's what you need. That's all there is to it. Uh, you could, there are some points in the song where you, you might make the finger, if it's too, t too tough, you could do it like this, where you use your, your G, So you can simplify it a little. So you do your G chord where you do, uh, I'm talking about this hand over here. So six, uh, string with your thumb, your index on the four, middle on the three, your ring on the two. So you could just go. So you'd go six, four, two, three. And then when you hammer, you do have to hit those together, six and four. But then you just go three, two, three, something like that. So you could simplify it if, if, if it's too much when you're singing the song uh, to play all those other complicated things. You could do that. Okay? Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Any comments below?